KTN News. Get the whole story. Welcome back to the Trading Bell Show. We are here with James Moria, CEO of Centum Investments, really getting to understand how the new developments are and how the business landscape is doing, especially on their subsidiaries. Welcome back, James. Thank you very much. Anna. Yeah, mm. you know, and I really look forward to how this is going to turn out because really we need a lot of these new developments. But first, when you sit here, there are so many companies under your purview, and uh, shareholders are very keen as well to understand how things are going there. And um, let's talk about the share buyback because you announced that you wanted to buy back 10% of the shareholding. Yes. And uh, how is that going? No, I think it's coming along well. Yeah. Um, the, pop, the objectives of the share buyback yes. were several. One was to give those shareholders who wish to sell their shares mm -hmm. an opportunity to sell their shares at a price that is not at a huge discount yeah. to where we were when we started mm -hmm. this particular exercise. Yeah. And if you look at it, uh, when we started the exercise, the share price was somewhere between 850 and 9 shillings, mm -hmm. and we've managed to maintain it at that level. Right. So whoever has wished to sell their shares has been able to sell their shares. Mm -hmm. The second objective was, because in our own view, the price is at a huge discount mm -hmm. to the real value of the company, yeah. was to give value to the remaining shareholders mm -hmm. by allowing them through the company yeah. to buy back the shares at a significant discount. Mm -hmm. So it was a win-win mm -hmm. between those who wish to sell their shares for yeah. various reasons okay. and those who wish to, to remain. Okay. So, and, and the way we've typically done it, we've, we've, we are, our broker typically comes in at the, towards the end of the market trading. Okay. So we are sort of an under, underwriter All right. and pick up any unsold shares. So we are not interrupting mm -hmm. the way the market would ordinarily trade. So if you wish to buy the shares, you can buy them. You have first priority. Yeah. But if there are any <laughs> shares left on the board hanging, mm -hmm. which may create an overhang, yeah. or uh, where we want our shareholders to be able to have sold the shares. So it was a, it was a liquidity uh, mm -hmm. mechanism yeah. for our shareholders. All right. um, I, so I think to that extent, we've, we've, we've achieved our objectives. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's good to know. And it's still ongoing till... It's still ongoing. Day, right? It's an 18 month... Okay. We're given an uh, approval for 18 months. All right. Uh, with an upper limit of buying up to 10% of the shares, about okay. 60 million shares. Okay. Uh, and and, and that, that process is still ongoing. All right. Yeah. Let's now move on to your other subsidiary, the banking sector. And City and Bank, you had some announcement here and there. Uh, some potential bias. I don't know what happened, but maybe you could shed some light and, you know, what are the latest that we have in that sector? I think the banking sector is um, specifically around around CD and yes, we had the announcement mm -hmm. uh, that we're going to to exit and we had signed right. with with a potential buyer. Mm -hmm. uh, as happens with many of these agreements, they have a long stop date, and the long stop date came and passed. Mm -hmm. uh, we extended it once, twice, and we announced that the deal had fallen through. Yeah, which uh, is something that is uh, happens in mm -hmm. in this kind of uh, M and A. M&A transactions. You're right. So it remains our subsidiary. Mm -hmm. it, it is doing well. Uh, we had certain constraints as tier two banks. Mm -hmm. One is uh, the pricing of loans mm -hmm. uh, because of the higher cost of funds. Yeah. Uh, we had our risk-based pricing models approved, so we were mm -hmm. able to price uh, loans at rates that are more reflective of the risk and the cost of funds that mm -hmm. that, that that we are taking. Um, so it's yeah, it's um, it's. I think the environment has had its challenges yeah. in terms of the underlying economy, mm -hmm. uh, increasing interest rates, but the relaxation of the regulations has also created certain opportunities. All right. So you you have had some relief in other in other areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I almost jumped into that conversation and asked yeah. with this uh, finance bill, how are things on your end? But let's not have that conversation for now. Yeah. Because I'm curious to know. Yeah. Because. Um, from where I sit, there's a lot of creativity that comes around such investments and what you are doing, and mm. we appreciate that. What are your plans uh, five years from now? Are you are you aiming at this region? We are seeing a lot of uh, you 